Hey guys, it's two in the morning and I'm super nervous right now because tomorrow morning, I'm gonna get microbladed. It's gonna be fine. So as you guys probably have heard from a lot of other videos from other sites, microblading is a huge trend right now. It's basically people taking scalpels filled with ink and kind of swiping your eyebrows with it so you have a fuller eyebrow. I've always been kind of insecure about my eyebrows. I mean, I think they're okay, but near the ends they get kind of sparse. And because I'm in videos a lot, a lot of commenters have been like, you have no eyebrows. And I'm just like, oh man. Also microblading is supposed to be a semi-permanent tattoo. So it's supposed to last for at least two years and you're supposed to get it touched up, but it looks pretty good in the meantime. So I'm gonna get them done and I will explain to you all that I learn. So today's the morning of my microblading session and I'm trying to explain to you guys why I want to do it again. So as you can see, it's very sparse up in the front. It's okay in the middle and then it gets sparse again in the end. And you know, when you're in front of the camera and there's lights beaming at you, you really want to have a place that people focus on and that's strong and I don't have that. So that's what I've always been insecure about. So I've currently got a cream over my eyebrows to numb it before the treatment. So that's why I look like a clown. <laughs> and then afterwards, she draws in the designs that she thinks I'll like on my eyebrows. She shows them to me and if I like them, we'll proceed. If I don't, she'll redraw them. But I really liked what I saw. She drew in the shape that I wanted and this looks pretty good. Afterwards, she takes a blade, which kind of looks like an X-Acto knife and she dips it in tattoo ink and then she starts basically just drawing in the eyebrows. It really isn't painful. The sensation is really hard to explain, but if I had to explain, it kind of feels like someone is taking a really dull butter knife and just kind of scraping it over your eyebrows. So I just got back from getting uh, microplated and they're very dramatic for sure, but um, the person who did them said that they would fade in a couple of weeks and look a lot more natural and a lot more settled in, so I'm excited for that. But it doesn't really, look, it doesn't look bad right now. I'm actually really happy with it. They look really natural, like look up close. I don't think they're, I don't think they're clockable at all. Excuse my pimple. Here's what they look like side by side. So it's been a few weeks after I got microbladed. Obviously it was so dark in the beginning and I was freaking out, but I really like them now. They really settled into place and everyone's been giving me a lot of compliments about them, which I really like. And I don't know, I really like the fact that I can just get out of bed and not have to do my eyebrows every morning. And they look nice and they photograph really nicely. I'm like very happy I got it. And if this is something that you are insecure about and you just want to boost your self-esteem a little bit, I think this is a great option for you. So here's what's actually going on when you're getting microbladed. The skin has many layers, simply the epidermis, the dermis, and the hypodermis. And between the epidermis and the dermis, which are the top two layers, there's a little border called the epidermal dermal junction. And once the blade or the needle penetrates this border, that's when the procedure becomes permanent. Traditional tattoos that are done with guns go into the dermis after passing this border. That's why they don't fade much, or if they do, they take a really, really long time. But the reason microblading is considered semi-permanent is because it only penetrates really the top layers of the skin. And anything in the epidermis is subject to regeneration and exfoliation. According to Dr. Mack from Glam Dome Dermatology, the top layer of the skin regenerates every 28 days. So if you get your eyebrows done and they look super dark, just like how mine were, just give it a few weeks and they'll settle out. Look how great mine look. I also talked with Betsy Shuki, a makeup artist of over 25 years who's worked with one of the top plastic surgeons in New York City. She told me the reason why a lot of people prefer microblading over tattoos is because of the precision. Tattoo guns can't give you the strokes that a blade can. It's also the semi-permanency that's really desirable to a lot of people. We really don't know what the eyebrow trends will be in a few years. That's why having them fade in two years or having them redone if you really like them is a really good talking point for a lot of people. So commitment phobes, this procedure is just for you. Also, according to Dr. Mack, tattoo ink is believed to be absorbed by the bloodstream, but no one really knows where it goes or what it does to our body. That's why any great professional won't recommend this procedure or tattooing to anyone that's breastfeeding or pregnant. 
I will say one of the cons of getting microbladed is the cost. It is very expensive and you have to go every year and a half or so to get retouched and that can really rack up your bills. I really do think they turned out nicely and compared to what they looked like before, I really do see it as an improvement. So if you feel like this is the procedure for you, then good luck and blade it up.